Hey, what is up guys, F64 here, and welcome back to some more Let's Build a Survival Games. So I actually haven't done this series in quite a while, and for that I do apologize. Uh, contrary to me not recording it though, I, I haven't just been sitting on my butt. I have been working on it quite a bit. Uh, so to start this episode off, I'm going to show you guys all of the progress I've been... I've, I've, I've gotten done. The progress I've been doing is what I was about to say. Perfect. These vines are way too long and I hate it. Um, but yeah, so I pretty much finished this village here. Really happy with it. So let's go ahead. Actually, you know what? The time here is fine. Um, so yeah. Let's, let's have a look through the village. So you come in through here. You already knew that. I don't know why I said that. Uh, but let's start with this, because I believe, I believe we had this started last episode, maybe not, but, uh, originally this was just a bunch of piles of, like, uh, hay and then some wood and stuff, because they gotta store all their building materials somewhere, um, and I kinda, like, went through and, like, I don't know, made it look like that was, like, overgrown and stuff, so that's pretty neat, uh, and then I added a bunch of houses, but we'll start with this one, um, because I really do like this one. Uh, I've kind of started making this map almost feel like, yeah, it's it's like ultra-realistic is what I'm going for. I want everything to make sense, everything kind of like has a place and it all fits together like this, this civilization here would would have actually worked if it were, if it weren't ruins. <laughs> like back in the day, people could have actually lived here. Uh, so let's start with this house here. Um, I really like the exterior of this house, the, ch the, the chimney looks a little weird. Um, but it, it works, and not really paying attention to the chimney. Back's a little strange, those stairs there have to be there for something that you'll see in a second. Um, but yeah, the exterior's, exterior's pretty neat, pretty basic. There are dogs barking in the distance, I don't know if you can hear them or not. Um, but yeah, so we come in, and uh, this would be like, I don't know, the like a painter's house or something. Uh, this is actually the wealthy village, so all of these houses along here. Um, this is where the like wealthy people would be, so maybe like an artist lives here or something. In fact, let's do that. Let's make this officially an artist's house. <laughs> because uh, that's, I don't know how this person would really make their money. Um, that'll do it. Um, but yes, yeah, so this is like their little, their little table they work here and they do their painting. In fact, let's add a flower pot. This, is, this could be like, I don't know, that's where they could keep their water. So they dip it in there and then, oop, is there anything that we could put? Right. Um, perfect. Also, I should probably get a timer open because I could spend so long perfecting this village. But yeah, he's like painting here. I guess that's where he keeps his water. Um, and he paints. And there's painting that he did in the past. Um, here's his fireplace. This this village is obviously it was abandoned quite a while ago, so uh, there would be a fire here, but that wouldn't really make much sense. Um, there's also a hole there, uh, which kind of just makes it look like this is all like worn away and stuff, which is kind of neat, it was originally just like an accident, but I'm fine with it. Birds! Shut up! My birds are being loud in the hallway. But yeah, there's just some like ashes down there because that burnt out a while ago. Here's the kitchen. Um, heed. I don't know, I guess this guy doesn't eat warm food. Well, no, he can heat it up here. He brings over here, does his cooking, he's got some water if he needs to wash off some, some food or something. And then, when he eats his dinner and does his painting, he comes up here and he sleeps. I really like this little loft. It's up above the fireplace, so... Kind of a fire hazard, but it would be nice and toasty up here. Um, this is, as I've said many times, just an abandoned village, so a cobweb. Um, but yeah, nice little, nice little house here. Um, and yeah, that would be where he stores his food. <laughs> oh, perfect. No, don't want that. Um, so then we will move down here. This is this is meant to be like the the rich house in the village. This would be where like the the ruler of this whole place lives, or or the, the emperor, or whatever, the leader man. Ooh, hold on, I need to drink. My throat is doing strange things. Hmm. But yes. So this place, this place is pretty neat. This this took quite a while to build. I'll show you guys the exterior first. Um, there's this nice little tree out here. This is like a little. Uh, probably would have been like a garden back in the day, but now it's kind of overgrown. Um, also, double grass. A lot of people hate on double grass. In fact, I, I don't really like it either. Um, but in places, it looks good. Like right here, if it's like up next to something, then it looks good. Uh, but say there was just some tall grass just out in the middle of a field. What the heck? What? 
Okay, whatever. Let's say there were tall grass there. I can't place it because... Derp. <laughs> but yeah, so if there were just like tall grass out in the middle of somewhere, it, it looks ridiculous because there's no way that would be standing. Um, because it's just this normal grass, which isn't like... It doesn't look like it could actually withstand like growing tall. Because think about it, if the grass were two blocks tall, like as tall as a person, it would get blown over and like destroyed in an instant. Um, while if it's up against a wall, the wall would kind of be like, like protecting it from heavy winds so it wouldn't get blown over immediately. Hold on, let me get my timer started. Um, but yeah, hopefully you, you see what I'm saying. Um, because tall grass, double tall grass, it does get a lot of hate. But honestly, it's a pretty, it, do, it doesn't look bad, it just doesn't make sense. And well, it does look bad sometimes. <laughs> But yeah, so this little garden here got this funky tree, which I wanted kind of to be I kind of wanted it to look like a big bonsai tree Not totally happy with these leaves here um, But yeah, it's just in this little garden which as I started to say would have been groomed Back in the day, but now it's like all overgrown and Interesting there's like a little spring here. I was thinking Also, there's a soul sand and pottle at the bottom which looks nice um, but yeah, this is like a little spring up here, I, I'm thinking, and then it all floods down into this little thing, so, yeah, that looks pretty neat, I like it, um, yeah, there's that, and that's just like the garden for the rich people, the owners of this whole place, but yeah, this is their house, if you come in here, you can see they have some artwork, which kind of shows that they're, they're more wealthy, they have a wither head, which, I don't know why, <laughs> and then up here, I was thinking this would be like, the, the king of this whole place, and then his wife, who would live here. So a double bed, um, another painting, and then, like, their storage place. This, this up here, I wanted this to feel really cold, though. Like, I don't know, this guy, I kind of wanted him to feel like he was, he was kind of a detached old man who wasn't a terribly good leader. So his bedroom's cold, makes him feel, yeah, this whole place, it just feels kind of cold. The darkness out there and the cobwebs, I don't know. Especially when it's raining, like, I came up here once when it was raining and shivered. Um, but then out back here, this is where he used to keep his cat. He had a cat. Cat bone. Um, and yeah, that would be like his little, his little feeding trough or something. I don't know. I wanted there to be something out here because this is nice open space and it looks really cool here. So I made a yard. And then I'm like, what would have been in this yard? A cat. Um, but yeah, and then here's the dining room. Um, I really like this table, it looks nice, and I like this dining room in general. There's a fireplace down here so they could have, they could be warm while they eat. Um, and then, where does their food come from? Well, their food comes from in here. So, uh, this is where their, their, like, slave people would work. Not, not really slaves, just, like, their workers. Um, they'd be in here, they'd cook the food. Um, there's, like, a, a little drain here to get rid of the smoke, not a drain, a, uh, a chimney type thing for their... Uh, ovens, there's some sink, there's some of that. In fact, there should be a table in here. Bam, table. <laughs> so they can do all their, their cutting and preparing on there. Um, but yeah, they cook their food in here. And then when they're not cooking food, they live up here in this little place. It's actually kind of like, climb up here. It's more atmospheric that way because it looks like you're like entering the place. Uh, but this is where they live. They have this cool little tree house up here. I really like this build. It's kind of, it's a very random style, but I like how it looks. Um, and so when you're up here, this where they sleep, that's where they store their stuff. And uh, it's a pretty cool little place. Um, but yeah, I was just thinking, where would these guys' food actually come from? Like, I'm not gonna have it delivered from down the street, because no. <laughs> but yeah, I wanna make. I want to make this all make some sense, as I said earlier. This, I was thinking, would be more of like a townhouse. There's no fireplace. This is just like a little, little place where people come and they hang out. There's some stuff growing around here. Maybe, I don't know, maybe there's like a private farm here. And that's how, that's how one of these people pays to stay in this big fancy place. Uh, because once again, this is the, the like rich part of town. Um, time. Is it? Day! It's getting dark. We don't want that. Um... But yes, that house is like a townhouse. I don't know. Um, but yes, moving on. Here we have a little hobbit house. Not a hobbit house, but just a just a small, nice house. I really... The exterior is kind of bland, but the interior feels nice and cozy. This is where 
I don't know, like an, an elder of the village maybe would have lived. Does a lot of reading, as you can see, books. It's also got a knockback book in here, which is pretty neat. Um, but yeah, so this is nice. I really like the feeling here. He just sits here. He reads. I, I like that as a flower more, but no flower lasts like 100 years. <laughs> um, so yeah, I had to get rid of the flowers and all those pots. Oh, speaking of which, get out of there, you. Not you. You. Um, oh, I have a pot in my inventory. How convenient. Um, and then, what is it? It's a, it's a, what are these things called? A dead shrub? Dead bush, okay. There we go. Um, but yeah, and then this is just a little market stand. I really like this. I'm thinking this is where the poorer people in the village will live right down there. That'll be like the slums. Um, but they'd come up here and sell their goods to the, to the richer people in the village. Um, in here we just have a bunch of different stuff. Uh, from the fishing department, which I'll build soon. Um, maybe they sell, like, this is a little blacksmith area down here where they sell tools or something. I don't know. Um, but then speaking of blacksmith, and I have an anvil in my hand, which is fitting. This is the blacksmith of the village. Um, we'll go through the interior first. Because I like the interior of this place. Um, this guy, as you can see, has a little bunk here, which I really like. I like how that fits in. I can just go up there and sleep. Um, and then in here we have the kitchen, a burnt out fireplace, um, where they do all their cooking and stuff, um, again, little chimney thing, uh, over here's their storage room, they'd go up here, they'd get their stuff, and then they'd go down, there's a really weird lighting glitch there, um, but yeah, all of their just appliances and stuff, here's where they'd eat, this is, this is just one guy, he's a, he's a solo blacksmith man, uh, but then, if we come out back, we have where he does all his work, um, this is where his flame would be, so he'd like heat up his metal here, and they put it on the furnace and bang it with a hammer. Um, which, yes, actually, hold on, let's do, let's do this. He'd have his hammer, his hammer. That's not that an item frame, not a painting. <laughs> but yeah, so he'd get his hot metal out here. He'd shape it into whatever it needs to be. Axe, make an axe because that's kind of, kind of fitting. Um, or it, it looks like a hammer, I mean. Um, there's his hammer, he just get his metal out, bang it, and then he would cool it off, bring it over here for the finishing touches where he'd, I don't know, put some gold on it, make it look fancy. Um, did I, I got my stopwatch open, but I didn't start it. I'm too smart, okay? <laughs> God damn it, so this may end up being a really long episode. Um, but yeah, and then he just stores all his stuff there. Um, that's pretty much all the work I've done for now. Um, I've planned a little bit more stuff out as well. Uh, I haven't done anything to the interiors there. But yeah, so, I think, I think we'll get started on a little bit of work today. Because I want to do some building. Um, not just like show off my progress. Um, uh, because my plan for this series, my plan is, wrong thing, I want stone bricks. Um, but my plan for this series is I'm going to start doing the majority of my work off camera. Um, boop doo but yeah, it'll it'll mostly be done off camera, and then these videos will be more like updates. I'll show you what I did. I'll show you like what I was thinking when I did it, or tell you what I was thinking, like why I did that and stuff. Um, and do a little bit of building, of course. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a let's build series. <laughs> but yeah, since Pixel Hub is actually already up, I don't wanna. I wanna get this done. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna do it all on camera. I'll do a lot of it on camera though, because. It's fun. And I know you guys enjoy it because this series does get a bunch of views, so thank you for, for all your support. Um, but yeah, what I'm thinking, um, and I'll probably just build the path right now, but what I'm thinking is this whole place would need to get its, uh, its hay for its roofs and stuff somewhere. So I'm thinking we'll have a big old hay field over here, or wheat field, not hay, what am I saying? A big old wheat field, because uh, those aren't, that's not hay, those are like wheat bundles this is made with wheat which is a little weird but yeah so there'd be like a big old wheat farm here uh maybe a windmill here which kind of makes sense because it's right on the water uh obviously you wouldn't get much wind in this crater <laughs> but whatever it makes sense um so yeah a windmill there and then a bunch of farms and stuff uh and the windmill will call it probably also kind of double as a house because this guy does need somewhere to live but not a lot of space along here, so we'll do that. Um, 
But yeah, I think that's all the time I have for this episode. I apologize, there wasn't much building today. Um, expect, expect another episode this weekend because I feel bad that I didn't actually do any building this time. Um, but yeah, so this series is going to become a little more scarce on my channel. Uh, but when it does happen, I'll have a, a lot more stuff to show you. Um, and then there's still some building, so hopefully everybody's okay with that. If anybody, like, really wants to see all the building on camera, I could probably work around that and I could do a lot more, like, longer episodes or something. And, yeah, I could do, I could just do, like, really long episodes. Um, but I think this will work out fine. Let me know if you, you think otherwise. And, uh, yeah, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. And, uh, let me know what you think of this progress so far. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I started this build not really planning to have it be like ultra realistic. Um, so I don't know, some things don't make a whole lot of sense, but I want them to make a little bit of sense because I feel like subconsciously you're always kind of thinking, how does this work? Why, why is this actually here? And that just makes the, the build feel a little better in general. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think of the build. Be sure to leave a like if you have enjoyed and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Adios!